Counting down now to first pitch in South Florida. It's the Cubs and the Marlins. Next. In its second season now as a big league stadium, there's a look at spacious Marlins Park in Miami. Tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the Chicago Cubs and the Miami Marlins. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen here to bring you this early season matchup. I'm joined by Eric Karros and the newest member of our team, Steve Lyons, as we delve into our pitching matchup here in the opener. Yeah, and there's a bit of a difference between the numbers so far for these guys. Two guys going in different directions so far this season, and we're starting to get far enough along where you just can't write those numbers off as a fluke. This might turn out to be exactly what you're going to get from each of these guys this year. All right, Steve, thanks. We'll hear from EK momentarily, but first... Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Chicago Cubs as manager Dale Swaim has them lined up like this. Nate Evaldi is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got the usual assortment of pitches, but keep an eye on him in the early going here. If these guys can get to him early, he does have a tendency to start overthrowing. And from there, that's when the problems usually arise. Darwin Barney will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. And the first pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. Now the 1-0 pitch. And back-to-back -back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2-0 now. 73 degrees, our game time temperature here tonight. And it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. On the ground towards second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Well, here's another look. This looked to be a fairly routine play. Just might have hit him, though, on the heel of the glove, and now they've got a leadoff base runner. David DeJesus will get his first shot at it here, and he's got to be hoping to turn things around because you see the numbers over the last five games. Not much going on there at all. Runner goes, pitches a cold strike, the throw. And he's going to be out at second base after a great throw there by Mathis. Well, that was kind of surprising to see him stealing anyway. It didn't really look like he had a great lead at all, and they throw him out by a country mile. And now a pitch on the way. And this pitch is swung on by DeJesus and hit on the ground to second. Throw gets him, two down. Here you see the numbers from the last time he pitched. He got out of there with a no decision, but there's no question he'd like to be better here tonight. Starlin Castro will stand in for the first time now, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin playing. Oh, 
Fast ball. Probably could have gone either way, but ruled a ball. 1-0. One zero pitches a curveball that looked good from here, but it's two and zero. Oh. Now here's the pitch, and that's in there two and one. Fastball for a strike, and from 2 and 0, it's back to 2 and 2. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And he'll pull this one down a step or two in front of the warning track, and the inning is over. So no runs or hits here, as the error turns out to be unimportant. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Marlins. And there's a look at the starter this lineup will match up against as you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. And there's a look at the defensive alignment for the Cubs here. Set to go is the leadoff man, Juan Pierre, as he'll get first shot at things here in the home first. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Now here it comes. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this one, high and deep to center. Under it is DeJesus, and there's out number one. Donovan Solano will stand in for the first time now, looking to keep that hot streak going as he's been hitting the ball well these past six ball games. Hey. 
And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. And that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. Yeah, he has been patient up there, but now he's backed himself into a corner. One out, nobody on. Good arm action there, but this one misses, and it's a ball and two strikes. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on, so that's a great job to lay off. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Pitch swung on and foul tipped right off the mask. It sounded like of the home plate umpire, and that cannot feel too good, I wouldn't imagine. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That was quite a nice little battle as we check out the sequence of pitches here. It was a six-pitch at-bat, and as you watch this, you'll see that he wasn't going to go down without a fight. He was able to keep the at-bat alive by fighting off a couple of tough two-strike pitches, but in the end, finally put away on that pitch right there, one and two. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now, and obviously one to be careful with, as you see there, currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. Oh, he took a big swing there as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory at first. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. Onto the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Nothing in the Miami first. We played an inning in South Florida. No score on the show. Alfonso Soriano will stand in hoping he can be the same kind of run producer he was yesterday when he drove in three of his guys four eventual runs. Second inning starts with a fastball that misses it's one and oh. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. In there at the letters, one and two now. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Now a swing and a miss, and Soriano's down on strikes for the first down. 
And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Anthony Rizzo will dig in for the first time here, looking to change his fortunes a bit as he's seen that average dip these last four or so games. Now the first pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Up with it is Sanchez. Throw on to Morrison. Did he scoop it? He did. A nice play by the converted outfielder, and they get the out. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He doesn't really have a chance to set himself up, so this is all arm, but he makes it look routine. Scott Hairston will get his first chance at it now. Didn't factor much into the win yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the ball game. And here's a pitch very close to the outside corner. He won't get the call, however, and it's 1-0. and Well, that strike zone looks like it's tightening up a bit. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. Started to go around there, and it'll cost him, as they say. He did swing the bat. It's two and one. Here's the pitch. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Fouled straight back. Ready with another 2-2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Three. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. And you know what, guys? This is a big league battle going on right now. Neither guy wanting to back down. No sign of weakness on either side. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And Morrison will make the catch and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing nothing. Justin Ruggiano will get his first opportunity now. And you can see that average pushing up near 350 to start things out. And that misses for ball one. Here it comes. That one's a called strike. Back even at one.
One one pitch is a circle change. It hits the target one and two. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, he watched that one all the way in, and it looked like he almost gave up on it. He's pretty lucky that wasn't called strike three. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. This is one of those guys that you can spend all your time in the video room watching what his pitches look like, but until you get out there and see it firsthand, you just have no idea how much his stuff moves around. Logan Morrison will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Lined hard to center field. And the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. And with that, that'll push his hit streak to a modest six games. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring in the former batting champion, second baseman Freddy Sanchez. He's running towards second. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And that is through into left field. The base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Matt Downs will stand in. And you see the average there up over 300 to start the new season. Changes up on him if that's in the dirt for the ball. They've got an opening here, so this is where you can really jump on a guy out there before he settled in. Now a ball hit down the line in the air. This has a chance, and oh, it's high off the foul pole for a home run. Three run home run down the line in right as the Marlins have taken a three to nothing lead. And this is just a fastball right here, but I'm pretty sure it's not where he wanted it. This has got some elevation to it, and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring forth Jeff Mathis, the catcher. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. A 
Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And the pitch. Good waste pitch, one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Three. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Now he definitely needed that one after the three-run home run. I mean, don't get me wrong. Now he hasn't forgotten about it, but that's a good job of putting it behind you and getting back to the task at hand. Nate Valdi steps in now. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. But normally, that two-seamer has a lot more movement to it. It's been pretty straight for him in this one, and he's gotten into trouble because of it. The next pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Marlins strike for three on the three-run home run. We've played two. It's 3 nothing Miami. Ian Stewart is ready to go here as we begin the third. Ian Stewart. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. And that's the right spot for that slider. Really try hard to tie him up inside. And that's a good job to lay off, too. Now the one and one pitch. Now a pitch laid off by Stewart. Two balls and a strike. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. And a base hit, the first of the game for the Cubs. And that at bat right there, that's exactly why this guy's such a tough out. I mean, he's not going to launch too many balls into the stands, but he will do this. And that's work the count in his favor and then come through with a solid single. Wellington Castillo will come forward now, back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. A runner at first with no outs here. In tight here, maybe not by much, but it's one and one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it, too. Down low, two balls and a strike. And a 
slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. In there, and it's full three and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Full count pitch on its way. And he swings under the fastball here as this is popped high in the air back behind short. Pierre comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Well, the only good news that comes out of this at bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. Travis Wood will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Looking to bunt here, but he can't connect, and that's the first strike. Yeah, no surprise they had him squaring right there, and I figure he'll get two more shots to get it down. Hey, try turning the double play for one. And they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. You know, in this situation, some people may say, with one out, why not just let him swing away? You know why you don't let him swing away? Because he's a pitcher, that's why. All you can hope for is for him to go up there and make a productive out, and that's what he did. Darwin Barney will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Darwin Barney. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Ball. Fastball Catch misses inside. It's even at one. Catch. Right there at the belt. One and two now. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Slider, and this is hit on the ground out to short. On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. One left for the Cubs. They trail in this one, three nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now, and the team's catalyst, Juan Pierre, is coming up. Here's a ball for Rizzo over at first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Donovan Solano will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And 
And here's a fastball called for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. The pitch. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. And that misses, two and one. Fouled straight back. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now, 3-2. One out, nobody on. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Well, he showed a lot of patience to work it back to three and two, and then maybe got a little too patient with this one. Now, that'll be a pitch he wishes he had back. So bases are empty here with two gone and set to stand in the ultra dangerous Giancarlo Stanton. Fastball in there for a called strike. Probably his best located pitch so far. Right on the outside corner and that's the spot he's going to need to start finding. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. One, two, three go the Marlins. But they lead it three nothing. David DeJesus will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Hit hard to the right. Foul. He goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. And this is a major league pop-up, all right, way up there. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. And he can work in the zone with a lot of effectiveness because he's got enough giddy-up on that fastball that these hitters just can't get on top of it. Starlin Castro will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now a hard liner towards short. But the shortstop won't have far to go to haul this one in, and there are two away. If you're going to pitch a good game at this level, you're going to have a few atom balls. And that one was squared up pretty good, just not in the right location. Alfonso Soriano will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one.
started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Fouled back. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Miami's out in front, three to nothing. Justin Ruggiano will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch coming. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Had him out in front there as he takes strike one on the circle change. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Pitch on the way. To two balls and two strikes now. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats, and he's just fighting to stay alive here, still two and two. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first out. And let's check this one out again. Look at him stretch out for this thing, and then he's going to tuck into a nice little barrel roll at the end there. That was pretty sweet. Logan Morrison will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. And 
and this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. And we're going to check out that sequence right here on Show Track. The first three pitches all going to be down in the strike zone. So you've got the guy thinking he's going to see something else down around the knees. Ah, but that's when they change things up and change the eye level of the hitter, and they get that last pitch by him right at the letters. So two are gone now in the Miami fourth, and that'll bring in the former batting champion, second baseman Freddy Sanchez. And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and oh. Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. One one pitch on the way. And no complaint about that one. That's a strike and it's one and two. Now a ball lined toward right center. Well, this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We played four full. It's the Marlins three and the Cubs nothing. Anthony Rizzo will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First offering on the way. And a fastball's in there for strike one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. No offer at that one, and the count moves to two and two now on the Cub first baseman. Now the pitch. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Another 2-2 offering. Full count, 3-2. Now a swing as he shoots this one over to first. Morrison takes this one himself. Three unassisted on the putout. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. 
So the bases are empty with one man gone. And stepping in is the left fielder, Scott Hairston. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that ball is gone! Home run! So a solo shot here to left center field. And the Cubs are on the board. It's now a 3-1 ball game. And even though this is only one run, this is important, not just because it gets them on the board, but also because they needed something to get the dugout going a bit, give them some life. Ian Stewart will dig in. He singled his first time around. In there at the knees, strike one. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Two and one. Swing and a high chopper. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. Wellington Castillo will try it again. He flew out his first time. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Now here it comes. Slow curveball, like a balloon, and he couldn't hold back at strike two. And he's really going to have to fight now. You got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. Curveball, but he can't get him to chase it one and two. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Stanton will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Cubbies draw a bit closer on the strength of this solo home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Marlins three. And the Matt Downs will get another shot to do some damage. He had the three run homer his first time around. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Now here's the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Good. 
that misses one and two. Misses, ball two. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Fastball here is hit softly to the left side of the infield. And this will be out of reach for Castro. It's a base hit. Well, sometimes that's how these rallies start. A little fluke hit, and now they're in business to start things out. Jeff Mathis will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Here's the first offering. Mm, a little tardy oh, there. No balls and a strike. This is where a guy who's been very aggressive around the plate may start thinking about being a little more fine later on in the game. When these guys start thinking, hey, you know what? I'm just going to go up there and jump on the first pitch. You don't even have to throw him something good to hit. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's 1-2. He's ready. Now the pitch. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here and it remains one and two. Three to one our score as we play inning number five. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. And this is a two seam fastball with a little bit of life to it. I mean, they'll often run east to west or vice versa, depending on the pitcher's handedness. He just had no answer for this one. Nate Valdi will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Infield expecting bunt. Here's the first pitch. The cutter runs outside, ball one. Three runs, four hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. Squares to bunt, but he can't connect, strike one. This looked to be on the outside corner, but it's called a ball anyway. Two and one. Wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Yeah, that's well done right there. As you can see, he angles the bat perfectly, gets it down the first baseline, and gets the job done.
Juan Pierre will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. And a good slider here to start the at-bat, but it's ruled a ball, 1-0. You know, guys, these hitters have had a good look at that slider so far, and they've been told, let that thing go and wait for something better out over the plate. Three runs, four hits, and one error so far for the Marlins. A very big lead from second, now the pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. On the ground to third. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Marlins leave one as the lead remains three to one. Travis Wood will get settled in here as the Cubs look to get it going in their half of the sixth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1 0. And he falls behind now, 2 0. I got to think he's going to leave the bat on his shoulder again here, even 2 0. This approach hasn't been too sharp so far to lead off the inning. And some trouble here out of the chute. 3-0 to start the sixth. Of all the people to lose the strike zone against in this lineup, he's got to be out there thinking, how is this happening against the pitcher? And, oh, he thought that was ball four, but it's called a strike. 3-1 and one now. Hmm. That's a borderline strike right there. And I think that he had one step out of the batter's box headed towards first already. Now a fastball swung on and missed in its full three and two. Boy, he hasn't thrown him a strike yet, and yet the count's three and two. The 3-2 pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. Mm. And now after the leadoff walk, that'll bring the tying run to the plate. So let's see if they can use that as a springboard to a big inning. Darwin Barney will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Yeah, and he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2-0. and oh. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 to one ball game. Now a swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But this is speared by the first baseman. And for a first baseman, if the most direct route is to just tag the guy, that's what you do. You know, there's no sense in trying to throw it to your pitcher or your second baseman covering, especially if you don't have to. David DeJesus will get his third shot at it here. He's bounced out and popped out in his previous two trips. First pitch coming. 
Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. That's one of his best pitches tonight. Two out, nobody on. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Therefore, it is Sanchez. On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Marlins three and the Cubs one. Donovan Solano will stand in to lead things off as the Marlins look to get things started here in their half of the sixth. Now here's the first pitch. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line. But this will be a foul ball. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Oh, that's the last thing you want to do is put a guy on base right before you've got to face a great slugger at the plate. Well, that ain't going to make things easier. The Chicago manager up out of the dugout now as he'll make the slow walk to the mound. And that's going to do it now for Travis Wood. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Your attention, please. New pitcher set to take over, and it's the veteran right-hander Sean Camp. Sean Camp. Giancarlo Stanton will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. First pitch here is popped a mile high into the air. This is way up there but playable on the infield. Barney backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Well, that's pretty nice. You come into a ball game, you throw one slider and you get yourself an out. Now that'll help you settle right into the game. Justin Ruggiano will stand in now. He struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. Sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. But he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Well, that's a good idea right there. He goes with the pitch. He's not trying to pull it. Shoots this thing the other way. Just happens to be right at the right fielder. Logan Morrison will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. No 
First pitch is a sinker too low. 1 and 0. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. A runner on first with two away. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Three and one. Yeah, and you know what? You've got a better matchup on deck here with two outs. So on three and one now, they may not take any chances with this guy. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Oh, now this is hit hard to the right side, but caught out there at second base. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. Starlin Castro will take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Morrison takes this one himself. Three unassisted on the putout. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Alfonso Soriano will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And here's the first pitch. Good way to start it on the outside corner for strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short as he'll hang on here to record the second out. Well, this is what happens sometimes if you show him the same pitch twice in a row because he was definitely sitting on that second one. Just unlucky for him that that thing winds up being an atom ball. Anthony Rizzo will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. And 
He goes the other way with a fastball as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Pierre is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Freddy Sanchez will be in to lead things off when we return. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. The Marlins lead this one 3-1. to one. There you see Freddy Sanchez now. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Well, I think he got the pitch he was looking for right there, but not in the right location. So that's a great job of just holding up the swing. That's right. Good eye. Wait for your pitch. And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. And now a pitch on the way. Ah, no leadoff walk just yet as that finds the strike zone and the count comes full at three and two. Pressure's on. And they take him out of the zone here and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Yeah, he did a great job of battling back from being down 3-0 to start the inning. You know, things weren't looking all that good, but he didn't panic. He trusted his stuff, and he comes right back with three good pitches to get the strikeout. Matt Downs will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ballgame on one swing of the bat, as this was the swing right here. Inside corner here, but maybe a fraction too far inside, apparently. It's ball one. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Now a sinker falls in there for a called strike, two and one. On. Now here's the pitch. Gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. Solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as the Marlins have opened up a 4-1 to lead.
Well, sooner or later, somebody was going to get him. That's just the first home run he's allowed out of the bullpen all season long. He's been lights out all year, but he got beat there. Your attention, please. New pitcher set to come on here as Corey Wade makes his way toward the mound. Jeff Mathis will be the first one to greet him as he'll start fresh here with the bases empty following the home run. First pitch on the way. Here's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. hit ball back up the middle and a diving effort there but it'll come up empty it's a base hit well he's been a little slow out of the blocks here to start the season but that looks a little better there as this is a sharp base hit Nate Valdi will stand in sacrifice bunt his last time First pitch coming. In tight with the curveball. Backed up on him a little there, and it's ball one. And the bunt attempt misses that time for strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. And they will have him bunting with one away as he gets this one down. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Well, this is a nice job here of giving himself up. You see him square and put this ball down over toward the right side of the infield, and that's just where you want it to be. They do put the tag on him, but hey, he gets the job done. Juan Pierre will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. And this one's over for a high strike, one and one. Two out here and a runner at second. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Oh, and this is past him down the line, a fair ball. And the run will score from second to make this a 5-1 game now. And that may be the at-bat there that finally seals the deal. That'll make it a four-run lead right now, and that would be awfully tough to overcome this late in the ball game. Donovan Solano will stand in now. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Get a hit. Come on. Down and away, ball one. And this 
one's up around the eyes, two and one. Two out with the man at first. Grounded, foul. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. And DeJesus will make the catch, and with that, the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. The Marlins on top, 5-1. to one. Scott Hairston will stand in again as we take it back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Here's the first pitch to him. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Comes back with a good change up there, and it's quickly 0-2. Yeah, he was out front right there, probably guessing fastball. But now, 0-2, you can't be guessing anymore. you got to find something in the strike zone and put it in play. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. And this is going to find its way into left for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard to start the eighth. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Well, now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. Seven solid innings for him in this one as he gave his club a very strong outing indeed. Ryan Webb will come out and take the ball here as he'll be making his 15th appearance of the year. Ian Stewart will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Looks like a left-hander up and throwing now in that Marlins bullpen. Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0-1. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. So two balls and two strikes now. Now here's a changeup that's pulled toward right center field. Ruggiano will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. 
Eighth inning here from South Florida as you get a look at the line score to this point. The hometown Marlins leading this one as they look to send this crowd home happy. Wellington Castillo will stand in again. He's flown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. Hairston holds on, now the pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. On to Morrison, and it's in time. A double play, and the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Marlins lead it 5-1. to one. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Scott Baker is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Number 32, Scott Baker. Now catching and batting in the ninth spot. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in now, and he's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. And there's a fastball from Baker for strike one. Let's go, Miami. One and one. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but you know, he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Oh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And that may have been one of those... Let's just see if we can get him to chase one more time. Not a bad idea. Here's the two and two offering. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Swing and a miss, and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. We showed you his numbers a minute ago. It's still early in the season to be worrying too much, but he's definitely off to a slow start, so he's going to need to string together a few good outings to lower that ERA a little bit. Justin Ruggiano will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Oh, 
Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0-2 now. Five one our score as we play the eighth. And he misses there. One and two. Yeah, with the bases empty, that's the right spot for that 0-2 pitch. Make him see if he'll chase that slider. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here it comes. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line in left. And Soriano will tuck this one away for route number two. Now this is a really tough play for a left fielder here, especially when he's moving to his right, because there's almost no foul ground here until that wall comes right up in your face. So just a great job to stay with that play. Logan Morrison will get another crack, one for three thus far. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this is fouled back and out of play. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. He's hoping to just run that heater by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here in the last two pitches. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We've played eight full. Miami's out in front, five to one. DeYonder Navarro will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Pitch on the way. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for bull one. Changeup in there, one and one. Right there with the belt, one and two now. Now the pitch. Pitch in the dirt is swung on and missed, so he'll need to get the force at first. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first down. Darwin Barney will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. And a high strike there, 0-1. One 
One out, nobody on. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory now toward the third base dugout. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. Throw to first will take care of him. Score it two to three on the put out, and there are two gone now. David DeJesus is the last chance now with two out here in the ninth. Now the first pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now a slider in the dirt. Good block by the catcher there. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. With about 32,000 in the building, they're on their feet now. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Two out, nobody on. And here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. And he will make the catch here to end things. And the Marlins have taken the opener here at home as this ball game is over. Yeah, that's a good start to this four-game set. And I still think this is going to be one of those back-and-forth series. But they're able to take the opener here in front of the home crowd. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And a good offensive performance here, but I think we can agree on naming this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Yeah, he connected on a couple of long home runs. Really put his guys on his back and carried them to the victory. So that'll about wrap things up here tonight. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and the rest of our hardworking crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB 13, the show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 5-1. to one. Good night from Miami.